Check in. Man, how sweet. Check in. When your feet hit the street, check in. Cause if not, shit get hot, you better check it in. Why do rappers, entertainers, and public figures have to check in or are advised to check in? I'm going to talk about that in this video, or should I say I'm going to provide my perspective of you know how I see the check-in process. Now, before we get into this, please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Now, um, go with me on this real quick. Now, when you go to a rental car uh, business and you want to rent a, a vehicle, you go through the process, you show your driver's license, give all your info, make sure everything's good. And towards the end of the transaction, they're going to ask you, do you want to purchase their insurance? And then they give you the benefits of purchasing their insurance. Uh, one of the main things is, you know, generally speaking, if something happens to the vehicle, if you run into something or whatever, if you buy the total coverage, generally speaking, you can just walk away. Um, no debts owed, none of that stuff, etc. Now, of course, there could be some exceptions that apply, but we don't need to examine that. So the purpose of having their insurance is you have extra coverage. You don't have to rely on your own insurance. You don't have to worry about coming out of your own pocket or bearing your own responsibilities or costs, and you get to walk away from it. It's just knowing that you have that extra protection on hand. Now, when you leave that parking lot, if you choose not to get the coverage, you know, you can't get into an accident and then call and say, hey, I would like to sign up for the coverage because it doesn't work like that. So in the same way, when um, public figures, entertainers, etc., you know, when they go out and about and they're advised to check in, um, checking in is not looked at as something that's weak. All you're doing is, you know, you're taking on extra coverage because if you go to a city and you don't check in, you uh, essentially you're going to have to rely on yourself whatever resources that you have, that's all you're going to have. But when you check in, you're essentially getting, you know, the, the uh, what do you call it? The bumper to bumper coverage, you know, now bumper to bumper coverage, it doesn't guarantee that nothing's going to happen, but at least, you know, if something happens, you have that coverage, you know, you can potentially walk away from it. You don't have to worry about using all of your own resources. You have backup. So essentially, in my opinion, the way I look at it, uh, when you go from city to city, if you know that people might be after you or you think, you know, you might have people that want to rob you for your goods or, you know, if you just think, you know, you, you need that type of whatever, you know, checking in. It's just essentially you're just getting, you know, total coverage when you go to that city. So that way, if you get into something, it ain't all on you. You're going to have bumper to bumper coverage and you're going to have that extra help in hand and that stuff can come in handy. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know. Uh, the ways of the streets, wherever you're looking at going. I'll give you a good example. Um, I went to New Orleans for some training. Now, granted for me, you know, I grew up in the street, so I know what time it is. So, you know, I went down to Bourbon Street for a little bit, but I didn't stay long because I knew what time it was. I was like, man, I need to get up out of here. So I just went back to the hotel. But later on, I found out that, you know, several people that were within our organization, um, they got robbed. You know what I'm saying? Um, cut the purses push some of the ladies on the ground. They were going after the designer bags. You know, they were all flashy, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, so when you go to a town and you're just all by yourself and you don't know anything, you're just going to go out there like a lamb chop in the wilderness. You know what I'm saying? But when you check in, you know, or get that, you know, that uh, full body coverage, you know, those types of situations, you wouldn't have to worry about because what comes with that package of, you know, uh, uh, total protection or, or body or bumper to bumper protection is they're going to tell you, hey, nah, you should leave that person home. Don't take them glasses. Put on some different shoes. Hey, we going over here. We're going over there. That ain't a good look. They'll let you know all of that. So please don't look at checking in as a weakness. Don't look at checking in as though like you're bowing down or, you know, you're giving up your manhood or your womanhood or whatever you want to call it. All checking in is it's just giving you bumper to bumper coverage when you come into that area. And again, it doesn't mean that you're not going to encounter an accident or it doesn't mean that nothing's going to happen. It just means that if something does happen, you got extra layers of protection and you got other people looking out for you. So hopefully that makes sense. And um, it, it's just very interesting, you know, because for whatever reason, there's, you know, some some knuckleheads that they think, 
They can go wherever they want to go and they don't have to check in because they think checking in is a sign of weakness or something. But it's really not a sign of weakness, you know, and I'm not going to, you know, question whether or not, you know, PMV Rock, if he should have checked in because that's totally inappropriate. You know, the brother died, you know, just in a horrible manner in front of his girl out trying to eat chicken and waffles. So that's not why I'm doing this video. It's just a lot of people are bringing up the topic of checking in, checking in. And then some of them brought up uh, the Quando Rondo or Rondo Quando, however you say his name. And so checking in is kind of a, a, a hot topic right now. So again, don't think of checking in as a sign of weakness. Checking in is just essentially going to get a rental car and you get that total protection package, bumper to bumper coverage. So if anything does go down, you got some extra layers of protection and help to see you through. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Holla at your boy. Know what it is when you hop off the plane. Check in. Man, how sweet. Check in. When your feet hit the street. Check in. Does it not shit get hot? You better check it in.